In this video, we are going to correlate the potential energy curve with the thermal expansion of different materials. So there are two scenarios in front of us. One is A and the another is B. In the left hand side, we have a metal which potential energy curve is like this. It is really a wider one at the below whereas in the second metal B we can see a shallower curve the curve is very narrow so what will be the thermal expansion coefficient of these two different scenario we are going to discuss here so coming to the left hand side in the metal A so let's take this picture into account first so we know that at R0 the energy is minimum so it is the equilibrium distance between two atoms at which we have least amount of energy you mean and this is the scenario so when we are heating this metal we are increasing in the energy from u min to this point and at this point we can see that a straight line will inter intersect the curve in two points this is one this is 2 so what does this 1 and 2 represent is described over here so for simplicity let's assume that these two atoms are fixed with each other with the help of a spring so this one is a spring here so we know that how the spring moves so we, if we stretch them and if we leave them at a certain point then we can see that this A and B can come together and they will go back. They will come back together and they will go back. So this kind of moment will be there. So there will be a point where the distance between A and B will be maximum. So this is the point 2 here. The distance between A and B is maximum here. And there will be a point where distance between A and B will be minimum. So this is the point 1 here. So this is the scenario where the distance between two atoms will be very less. So what will be the midpoint of this 1 and 2? It is denoted as R0 dash. So this is the scenario of R0 dash. So this is the midpoint of 1 and 2. So similarly when we heat it to higher temperature that is by increasing the energy further. So the scenario changes and now the R0 dust is shifted towards right side. So similarly again if we heat it to the final temperature which is known as UF final energy at that temperature again the scenario is changed and the distance between these two atoms is increased and this R0 dash is shifted towards this side so we can see that we started from here R0 and it's, it is moving towards the right direction something like this so at the final stage whenever we are having UF scenario we can see that the distance between a and b is maximized now so that means our material is expanded significantly by putting lots of energy in terms of heat to our metal whereas coming to the b scenario where the curve is really shallow here we have started with u min this is the scenario here u min a and b atom and this is the distance between them and when we heat it we can see that 1 2 and r not dash is here so there is a slight change very insignificant similarly when we increase the temperature further and reach to the uf the final energy when we heat it we can see that there is very less change in the mean position of R0 so the atoms are vibrating with a mean 
value of R0 which is very close to the initial one which was R0. So whatever was the initial condition, the final condition is also almost same, very less change in the R0 value here we can observe. So they are vibrating with respect to the spring they are attached which is, non, which is, which is nothing but the, um, uh, the bond length here and there is no significant difference we can observe. So the thermal expansion coefficient is very less here. So wherever we are having the potential energy curve as a shallow one there we have very less thermal expansion compared to a wider potential energy curve. This is the takeaway from this video.